What's up, everybody? It's your girl Janessa. You can watch the Combat Sports TV. I got big money on my mind. It's on my temple. Chasing after paper, main the recipe is simple. Grind with your people, bust it down like a pimple. Go and get it all day. No sleeping is essential. Waiting on the shipment. Boys getting ignorant. The beans is alright. It don't have no pigment. I rock two chains like two chains. I'm riding around and I'm getting it. But no codeine withdrawals. My cup full and I'm sipping it. Aching is a disease, just like cancer, it's malignant. Them mother boys ain't real, they just an imaginary pigment. Like Slim Thug, I'm a hog. But them suckers ain't even piglets The hustle never ends, man The grind is relentless Cause I get it Get it, you don't get it, you don't get it I get it, get, get, get it I grind, I get it Get it, get it, get it. I get it, get, get it You don't grind, you don't get it Get, get it, you don't get it Combat Sports TV, I've got a lineup right here I'm gonna tell you right now There's amateurs right here, look at them all right now Real quick, you can bring the camera back over after you see these right here. Give me a name right quick. J.D. Ferguson. What weight? 155. What are you known for? Um, wrestling. How about a little kick ass? How about this one right here, baby? My What's name's your Robert name? Puente. Robert? 145. 145. Is your amateur debut, right? No. This is oh? my second fight. Okay, baby, you're going to make it happen. Who are you climbing to the ring with? Cage. Uh, Thomas and Jeff. Okay, baby. Who do I have here? Anton Joe. I'll tell you, Anton, baby, he come here for one reason. He wanted to sit here and make friends. I don't think he's a doorstop either, are you? No. Baby, who, who, who you gonna who you gonna get it on tomorrow with? You get it on with Alexander. Okay, I know it's gonna be good, Alex. Who do I have right here? Bondy Brad. Okay, man, I tell you, I got Brad Brad Few, right? Yes, sir. I tell you right here, this man right here is a calm, cool, collective man. You know why? The calm before the storm. That's what I've got to say. Good luck to you, son. Who do I have here? Aaron. Aaron, let's go and talk right quick. You're a tall drink of water, baby. Where do you stand at? 185. 185 at 65. 65. 56. I get the numbers all mixed up when I get around you, baby. Because you know what? I think you're going to bring that cage tomorrow, right? He's going to come back with Big W, right? Okay, baby. Good luck. Who do I have here? Juan Juan. 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 Good You hear that? The little Hispanic twist, baby. A little bit of pica in that name. A little bit of salsa, right? Is that what you bring, baby? Yes, sir. Okay. Tell me who you climb into the cage with tomorrow. Charles Morris. Oh, what? At what weight? Okay, baby. We're going to wish you the best of luck. Okay, let's step back behind her. I've got a man right here. He's brewing, baby. Oh, looks like he's already cooking. Who do I have right here? Arturo. He didn't say Arthur, baby. He said Arturo. Because you know what? He comes for one reason. A little bit of salsa. A little bit. They raise him a little bit. A little bit spicy down there. Who you crawling in the cage with? Who can? Who can? Baby, <laughs> right? Who cares? And what weight? Okay, baby, we wish you the best of luck. Any, any, hey, last minute shout out. Come on, baby, I'm through with you. Shout out to Dallas Jawbreakers. Oh, baby, I like that. Okay, we step over here. I know I got a man right here. You know what? He changed his name on us from something to Tyler. I don't know what that first name was. What did you change it to? It's an alias. Okay, baby. I know. I'm you know, making a hard time. Okay, what do we make a weight at? 205. 205. A little, little piece of meat right here, baby. We're going to probably almost have about a quarter ton of meat in there whenever they crawl in there. Who are you crawling in the cage with? Juan. Uh, uh, oh, Juan, Juan, baby. You know, hey, I appreciate you giving me the respect, but tomorrow in the ring, baby, it comes down to what? Just elbows at, I mean, I was going to say something else, but elbows and, and fists, right? It comes down to rocking. Hey, I'll tell you what, whether they're standing up, it's going to be a knockout. Whether we go to the ground, we're going to have a submission, right? It don't matter. Man. All right! Baby, I love it. Let's go and get over here. Let's go here. Black Dragon right here. MMA. Who do I have? Got to lead those. It's got the locals, right? Locals. That's right, baby. Who are you crawling in the cage with tomorrow? J.D. Ferguson. J.D. Ferguson. What rate? Huh? I look at these people. They want to see you, baby. They don't want you to see in me. What weight? 155. Okay. Ooh, 155, baby. I do what's going to happen. I've got to sit here. I've got to salute this man right here because he caught me off guard. What's your name? Nick Smith. Nick, I tell you what, Nick. You bring the action to me from the standpoint that you know how to dodge the media. You know that? Tomorrow I got a feeling you're going to be dodging punches and going in for that takedown, maybe the submission, whatever it takes, right? Hey. Tell me who you're, who you're calling the cage with. His name's Dakota. Dakota, baby. That's how I like, uh, you know, the Navajo kid, right? Oh, no, 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 no. I got that bad. Oh, he's, he's, another, he's another guy. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Tell me, what are you guys making weight at? Uh, 135. Okay, 135. I want you to look at those fans. I want you to tell them what they can expect tomorrow when they see you. Okay, first round knockout. Oh, my God, man! Did y'all hear that one? Oh, God, I'm going to read. You better tune in and find this one on CSTVLive.com, what you just missed. You better tune in and find out what this man just said. Stay tuned. You get it? I cry. You can be
But let's go and get down to it. We're looking at April 14th tomorrow. I've got a third of the promoter right here, Derwin Lamb, along with us. We can't leave out Alex and Kelly. No doubt about it. Adrian, um, Adrian, Madrid over here making that. Go ahead and tell me what recap of what we've, what's just transpired here at Phalanx MMA Academy. <laughs> Phalanx Powerhouse. Oh, baby, I said it wrong. I'm sorry. Phalanx Powerhouse cool. MMA Academy. Come on, tell me what, what it's all about. Nine bouts. What's all about, man? Nine bouts in front of 8,000 people, man. You can't beat that. I promise you there's going to be more people watching this fight than any other show in the state besides the UFC, man. 8,000 people, you can't beat that. I got four fighters on this card myself. Four amateur guys is going to be coming up that I will be turning pro soon, man. Me and my, me and one of my best fighters, Randy Virial, will be working the corners, doing our thing, man. Uh, it's going down, man. We got everything. We got uh, Sports Combat TV, uh, Combat Sports TV, North Texas Physicals in the house. We got LML Eye Candy Ring Girls in the house. It's going down. And look, listen, check this out, man. We got a 22 foot cage. There's going to be some rumbling going on in this mug, man. Listen, at the end of the day, there might not be no wood after this fight, after this cage going on, man. But we, we finna get it, man. We finna do it, man. Shout out to my boy James Vick. He doing his thing. You know, I love you, boy. But at the end of the day, man, North Texas Physical, Charmin Long, Roland Gomez, <laughs> Alex McGree, <laughs> Kelly McGree. Baby, Lamb, come on, baby. You know what I'm saying? Lisa Lamb. It's, 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 it's going down. And you know what? Whoever want it, they can get it. Well, let me tell you right now, I love what he just said. He couldn't have recapped it any better than the thing I'm going to tell you right now. Is tomorrow's champions are brewing at this show. Don't miss it. It's at Texas Motor Speedway. Again, four fighters coming out of Phalanx Powerhouse MMA. But we, hey, we're not going to throw any dust on Shreveport making their way down. I, what is it, I-20 they come from? And yeah, I got a T right down. They don't come to lose. You know that. They don't come to lose. They don't come to lose. Right. They don't have to come to lose, but it don't mean they ain't gonna, they don't mean they ain't gonna lose. <laughs> Listen, um, shout out to Tony Tempton, man. Oh, Black belt genius. Look at that. There, Tony, baby. Listen, man. Hey, making his pro debut May 26. Y'all better get ready, man. And I'm gonna tell you right this. We've been having a hard time matching this dude because y'all already know what it is. But when you get in the cage, it's going down. It's going down, man. Shout out to Randy Virio, one of my favorite fighters in the world. Oh, he's right there. Look at him, right baby. There. All right. right there. there he is. Right. Shout out to the whole Fellings Powerhouse. Shout out to yep. Cameron right yep. behind you. Oh, look us. at Cameron, baby. Come on, baby. That's right. He's one of the fighters. Shout out to Koda Yazi. Koda! Right behind you. Right there, the okay. Navajo kid right, right there, baby. Yazi. Shout out to Jabari Shakur. Jabari, look at Shakur. You know what I'm saying? And look, y'all already know. Shout out to Forrest Curry, my daddy, Rick, my dad right there. We dad, dad, I need a, I need a wave, Dad. <laughs> that's what that's what Darwin's going to look like in about how many years? <laughs> Another five years? Yeah. That's a young looking man right there, baby. That's yeah. dad right there. Yeah. So we here, man. Listen, Phalanx Powerhouse, we're humble, man. We like to have fun, with, but we humble, man. I just want to say, you know, praise God to everybody that's been here doing their thing, man. Phalanx Powerhouse, house, Phalanx Gorilla Mob in the house, whatever you want to call it, man. It's going down, man. Phalanx Powerhouse. Well, we got we to gotta admit also, Johnny Bedford was here. One of the oh, yeah, he yeah. was here. He just left. Uh, had some. I, I'm gonna tell you right now. For the the show of support that I saw here today, that you drug out here is something I've never seen before. That's right. It was absolutely beautiful. The pros were here. Like I said, Randy's here. Uh, Bedford was here. There were several other professionals here, uh, and it was just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. How about I leave the last minute? Just close it up for me. I want to close it up with saying that uh, I'm gonna shout out to Combat Sports TV, man. Like that. North Texas, North Texas Physicals. I'm gonna tell you why. Because y'all dudes, man, y'all been with us on our side from day one. 
one, man. And I got y'all's back, man. But shout out to Sean Malone, shout out to Rum, Rum, Roland Gamers, man. Y'all dudes, man, and always show the love and being loyal and supportive, man. Not just to us, but to everything going on from your amateur boxing to professional boxing to, to the MMA. It's going down, man. And you know what? Don't forget, man. James Vick is in the quarterfinals, bro. James Vick is in the quarterfinals, man. Phalanx Powerhouse is on the map, my man. It's on the map. Much love to you guys. God bless. And shout out to everybody that came out here tonight. Swag it out. I've got to give a shout out to this guy right here. It's not a matter of just patting each other's back, but this man's always kept us in the loop of information. Sean knows what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. And he knows what he's saying. To anybody out there, we love to cover the sport. We cover it from MMA to boxing. It doesn't matter. We love it. You stay tuned as we bring you more moving action. And how about a handshake right here, bro? Okay, five fans, Combat Sports TV. We're on the road one more time. You see the team. You see Sean Malone. You see the lovely Lisa right here. And Roland Gomez here. We made a stop right right quick. We're over at Phalanx. I got to can't say it wrong. Powerhouse. MMA Academy, we're over here. Lisa, we're over here doing a few things right now. We just had some weigh-ins. Tell me your take on what we're doing here, first of all. First of all, we're here because this is our very first event, Phalanx Amateur Combative Sports. This is our very first MMA event, and we're very excited. It was a great turnout. We have nine exciting fights, and it's tomorrow at Texas Motor Speedway. Everybody made way, so shout out to all the guys who came out and made way. That's very professional at an amateur level. Sean, I gotta ask you a question right quick. You know, we just had everybody kind of leaving right quick. It's been a big, like Lisa said, it was a great, great, great way in. Everybody got along great. Tell me your take, what you see this, as far as the fighters themselves. I know we've got a lot of kids right here that are fighting for one reason, that's to make a name. Well, I think we, we need to acknowledge the fact that this fight is going to take place at Texas Motor Speedway oh, during race week. I mean, it's the, the Samsung, uh, uh, NASCAR uh, championships. Um, it's one of the biggest NASCAR events in the in the United States, and it's taking place this week. I mean, we're having 8,000 to 10,000 people who are going to be on hand tomorrow in the VIP area to watch the amateur MMA fighters take place. And also, we have a ton, a ton of talented amateurs. I mean, we got some of the best of the best terms of amateurs here. Fighters out of Fitness Fight Factory, out of here in Phalanx in the Bay Academy. I mean, you got fighters coming all the way from Shreveport to be on this card. Uh, the main event, uh, Kota Yazzie, right. you know, the Navajo kid. I mean, he always brings it. We've seen him fight a couple of times here locally. And I mean, it's a stacked card for an amateur event. This one probably is the pinnacle of what you can expect from an amateur show. Well, it's a big shout out, first of all, to Alex and Kelly Madrid and Derwin Land, D himself. They brought together people like you just said from uh, Louisiana, Lubbock. Remember Lubbock? Yeah, awesome. we have Lubbock, we have West Texas, South Texas. We have every every point in this goddamn state are going to be in here fighting in the cage tomorrow. But I tell you what, we're already anticipating somewhere in the neighborhood of about 8,000 people. Whether those numbers come to fruition, we're going to find out. I want one more question right here before we, we try to wrap this up. I'm going to ask the lovely Lisa this. She has been part of these four that are coming out of faith. These amateurs that are making, in many cases, I think they're amateur, they're Amy Davey. Tell me what we can expect from these young men. Well, we have AJ, we have Cameron. Um, actually, AJ is one of those. Okay. Matter of fact, he was uh, he fought in Alex's uh, first MMA event when he was with someone else, the very first one in Alvarado. Yeah, really, yeah. yeah, so he fought yes. in that card. So he's a very exciting fighter. That was two years ago, and here we are two years later. <laughs> and let me tell you, since he's been with Derwin, he's striking has tremendously changed within those two years. We got Cameron Wink in his amateur debut. He has a boxing background, so this is a, it's going to be a great stand-up fight. Um, we also have Brian, who's a great, yes. great wrestler. Yes, 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 um, he yes. wrestled in high school and he also wrestled in college. You're going to see something very, very amazing from him. But what you guys don't know, his wrestling's good, but just as much as his striking is good. Of course, when you, when you train with Derwin Lamb on the striking part, you, you can't go wrong. And then also, Coda, the main oh, event. Oh, God, how could we forget that Coda? Yeah, main event, man. Awesome guy. I'm excited that he's the main event. His brother was one of them that was supposed to be the co-main event. It didn't happen, you know, as we heard earlier. Paperwork, but it's okay. Other than that, those are the four fighters coming out of failings, and you guys, good luck. Sean, wrap this thing up for me. Look, I think we're burying the lead here. The real reason to come out tomorrow afternoon is LML 
Lisa Marie Lamb's Eye Candy Girls will be the featured Cage Girls. Look, 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 I'm gonna tell you guys, all, all the males out there, look, it don't get any better. Fuck the UFC girls. <laughs> Triforce girls, Bellator girls. You ain't seen girls like this. All right, <laughs> let me just look. No offense to the women out there, but goddamn. Okay. Well, Element Eye Candies, I, I mean, they're very, very beautiful, beautiful Latin women. I mean, from all backgrounds, but these particular ones that I have, Janessa mainly, she's been with me for the last two years, and she was here today. So shout out to Janessa Mendoza for coming out. And yeah, she's back That's there. That's her, baby! So, if you guys, any promoters who need any ring girls, get at me. I don't know, I can. You can hit me up on Facebook, too, or even Twitter, at least I'm ring. Chiquita pero picosa. As we wrap this one up, I've got to give a quick shout out to Knockout Syndrome, always helping us sport the latest and greatest of fight wear as far as t-shirts for us. Me fighting? Mm-mm, baby. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to watch it. As we bring this to another closure, you see the team right here. Sean wait, wait, Lisa. On, on. Oh, wait, baby. I'm sorry. I'm bad. Myself. Bad. I got to give a shout out to uh, those who have supported us. TX MMA, Mike Kalimbus, you've always had our back. We love you, bro. And Undefeated Radio, my boy Raphael, I mean, Raphael, I'm sorry, Raul Rangel. Check it out. Download it on iTunes. It's called Undefeated Radio. It's strictly MMA. The two boys out of uh, San Antonio. This shit's mad funny. Check it out. Raphael Perez. Right here, right here. And, okay. <laughs> and Dusty. And Dusty. That's right. We appreciate it. My bad for screwing this whole thing up, but you know what? We're going to bring it to your life. We're bringing it to you one way, even though we mess up. You know what? This is what you hunger for. Roland Gomez, Lisa Marie, and Sean Malone. Signing off. One more time. CSTVLive.com. This is what we do. This is what we do. This is what we do. I get it. No sleep, no music.